Today is Wednesday, March 17th, 2021. Welcome to today's daily prayers. Our theme this week is power to give life. Let us pray. Jesus, who has come that we may experience life in its fullest dimensions, Give us now that life, and let it ever be in us a river rushing forth to life eternal. Through Christ, amen. Our psalm this week is Psalm 36. I know the sinful utterance of the wicked, no fear of God confronts their own eyes, because in their own eyes they are slick with talk about their guilt ever being found out and despised. The words of their mouths are evil and dishonest. They have stopped being wise and stopped doing good. They plot evil even while resting in bed. They commit themselves to a path that is no good. They don't reject what is evil. But your loyal love, true life, extends to the skies. Your faithfulness reaches the clouds. Your righteousness is like the strongest mountains. Your justice is like the deepest sea. Through life, you save both humans and animals. Your faithful love is priceless, God. Humanity finds refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the bounty of your house. You let them drink from your river of pure joy. Within you is the spring of life. In your light, we see light. Extend your faithful love to those who know you. Extend your righteousness to those whose heart is right. Don't let the feet of arrogant people walk all over me. Don't let the hands of the wicked drive me off. Look, right there is where the evildoers have fallen pushed down, unable to get up. Our daily scripture is from the Gospel of John, <coughs> chapter 10, verses 22 through 30. The time came for the festival of dedication in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was in the temple walking in the covered porch named for Solomon. The Jewish opposition circled around him and asked, How long will you test our patience? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you, but you don't believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify about me, but you don't believe because you don't belong to my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life. They will never die, and no one will snatch them from my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them from my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God.
In this story, it was the Jewish opposition, which means the religious leaders, who demanded, how long will you test our patience? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Yet that is a question that many of us may have asked at some point in our faith journey. Is this the Christ? Is this man, Jesus, really the incarnation of God? Where are you with this question? Has Jesus answered it for you? Or are you still living in that liminal space of not yet knowing? In his response to his questioners, Jesus says, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. An important part of our faith journey involves simply listening. How do you prepare yourself to listen for the voice of Christ? If you have heard Christ speak in your heart, what has Christ said to you or asked of you lately? Whether we fully believe the doctrines about Christ or not, the real call is to follow him, to do what we know he did, to serve as he served, to obey his teachings in our own time and setting. Sometimes it is in the following that our beliefs come to be sorted out. What does it mean for you in your particular life situation to follow Jesus? Our reading today comes from With Opened Hands by Henry J. M. Nowen. When you pray, you open yourself to the influence of the power which has revealed itself as love. The power gives you freedom and independence. Once touched by this power, you are no longer swayed back and forth by the countless opinions, ideas, and feelings which flow through you. You have found a center for your life that gives you a creative distance so that everything you see, hear, and feel can be tested against the source. Let us pray. Jesus, we long to hear your voice. We want to know the path to walk. 
Sometimes, though, we allow the noises of the world and the busyness of our lives to get in the way. Help us to listen and so to follow you in the way of eternal life. We pray for those who have allowed a sense of absolute certainty to close their ears to your voice. May they be willing to listen, even if what you have to say to them shakes that certainty to its core. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who find themselves in that uncomfortable place of doubt. May they discover there the joy of your presence, calling them not to absolute certainty, but to absolute obedience. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have been led to believe that you could never speak to them. May they hear your words of love spoken into their hearts and know that they are your sheep, regardless of what others may say. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray as Jesus taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. receive this prayer of benediction. And now, my Lord, may the same power displayed in your resurrection reside always in me, raising me up to immortality now and forever. Amen. Go in peace.